fucking with you. It's beer drink. It is late, bro. It's like 5.20 in the morning. A nigga don't have to go to work. A nigga absolutely no obligations. A dude has to reach back deep into the refrigerator and review a beer. Monday Night Brewing Company. And this is a thing that I'm going to say really quick. I have never reviewed Monday Night Brewing Beer on this channel or the first channel. I've never reviewed Monday Night Brewing, and I don't know why, because I've had maybe three, but for some reason, they always pop up and then pop out. So, it is what it is, but this can looks really dope. We have Slushy Fund, Cherry Lime Goza, 5% alcohol by volume. Ugh. Oh, and me getting in. It's probably not going to be in focus because I'm a bit fucked up right now. So it is what it is what it was going to be. But you don't want to end the night on this. It is what it is. My palate's clean now. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and go on. Cherry Lime Salty Goza. From Monday Night Brewing Company, guys. Slushy fun. Hey, guys. Fuck all that. Snaps. It's probably going to be red. But I can't wait to taste it. Because truthfully, like I said, I've never... This is my first review of a Monday Night Brewing beer. And it sucks that I'm so fucking hammered right now. But, you know what? I guess we're going to really tell the truth about this shit. So it is what it was going to be. Clean glass. Duh. Do you see any bubble sediments shooting on the outside vagina walls of this glass? No, you don't. Why? Because when you have a glass, clean it like hopefully you clean your ass. Clean that shit. Clean that shit. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get into the smell of smellifications of this thing. And that's the one thing that I don't like about beer, or beer cans and beer bottles. The way they put salty, malty, creamy. Or creamy, bitter, sour. Or sa like, get a good name and then you ain't got to you ain't got to say all that shit, bro. You don't have to you you don't have to describe the beer on the can. As far as like one 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 worders, if I think of a slushy fund, I would think that this shit is going to be sweet, fruit, fruitful, and sour. You don't need to put slushy fund, cherry lime goes where it goes, where it goes on this side, cherry lime salty. Do you think you do you think you really need to like damn? Come on, man. Fuck out of here. But anyway, this is the first review that I've ever done from a Monday night brewing beer. Hopefully, it's going to be a great one. Because my thing is, a lot of beer reviewers out there on Instagram, as well as YouTube, but a lot of people just want the cloud. A lot of people just want you fucking beer review, your, your breweries to suck their dicks. <laughs> for a day or two get their shit reposted on beerselfie.com I don't give a fuck about none of that shit I'm all about the beer and this is what I have to hear when it comes out of my ear hopefully it doesn't come out of my ears hopefully it comes right out of my mouth in a glorious burp hopefully Monday night your shit's not the worst Way more sour than I thought it was. Cherry lime. Off the bat. Straight up. This shit is sour as fuck. Cherry lime. Definite. Y'all got y'all's point across. And that's my whole thing. It's like, get the fucking point across. So, I'm fucking with this shit. Yeah. What? The lime is more prominent than the cherry is on this beer. Straight up. It's super lime 
on the mids to the back. The cherry is the sweetness that you get. Maybe a black cherry. Maybe a super fertile black cherry. This shit is good as fuck. Real shit. Real shit. And the fucked up thing about it is I kind of looked at this beer as far as what I thought it would be to be like a very red sour beer but it's not it's a very dark orange medium amber <clears throat> not a whole lot of carbonation that I'm seeing in this beer but this shit is good this is a this is a damn good sour straight up slushy fun cherry lime goes up I think it may be for a good cause, to be honest, for the fact that it has money signs on it, and I'm pretty sure that no brewery or, is dumb enough to put money signs on their can unless it is for a good cause. But this shit's good. Cherry lime salty. The saltiness you get from the lime, you definitely get cherry from it. This is a good-ass fucking beer, and I fuck with it 100%. Shout out Atlanta, man. Atlanta is, Atlanta is killing this shit as far as, like, building a fucking, not even a brand. Atlanta is the new mecca of craft beer, straight up. Atlanta is the new mecca of craft beer. Atlanta is the new mecca of beer, period. We make the best beer on the fucking planet. Shout out to Atlanta, Georgia, bro. Monday night. And I waste a little bit on myself. This shit is good. And I get the salty. But then that's the... I see why y'all fucking... <clears throat> put your descriptions. The salty... It is salty tasting... In your head. When you think of salty. But it's definitely that line... That brings the saltiness... To the... Factorization... Of the beerization. Great beer. Y'all killed that shit. Crisp. Truthfully. Uh. Very destroyable. I could see myself drinking a six pack of that hoe any day of the week. Have you look at it. If you're having a bad week, it's going to make your week a little bit better. If you're having a good week, your week is awesome now. That is a delicious Goza from Monday Night Brewing. 5% alcohol by volume. Very sessionable. Very crisp. Very, uh, it almost tastes like drinking a fucking Gatorade, nigga. That's just delicious. I fuck with that super hella hard. On a scale of 0 to 5, I'm going to rate that beer. It's a 4.75. That was almost a perfect Goza. That shit was delicious, crisp. And that's my thing. Like, a lot of times when you get gozas, they're a bit too fruity. And a bit too, like, sweet and fruity. That was, like, crisp, sweet and fruity. But at the same time, it had that sourness. It was, like, the perfectly balanced goza that I've ever had. <clears throat> what? So delicious. It is what it is when it was going to be. I hope you all enjoyed this cred beer review from your boy. It's beer drunk. Fuck with me. I don't fuck with you. Uh, fuck you.